More than 2.5 million people in the United States alone experience a traumatic brain injury, or TBI, each year. Some of these people are plagued by health issues for years after their head injury, including fatigue, depression, anxiety, memory issues, and sleep disturbances. Our work on brain injuries all started in the late 90s when a Galveston philanthropist named Robert Moody came to see us. His son, Russell, had suffered a serious brain injury during a car accident, and he employed his resources to explore ways to improve the life of his son and others living with brain injuries. He was curious about whether his son's brain injury had caused dysfunction of the hormones made by the brain's pituitary gland and was willing to fund research on this connection. We were shocked and thrilled to learn that Moody had the right idea. My colleagues and I have spent the past 20 years working to help TBI patients with the support of the Moody Endowment, the Tear Foundation, and the National Institutes of Health. We've confirmed that TBI triggers a long-term reduction in growth hormone secretion that's linked with the chronic syndrome now defined as brain injury-associated fatigue and altered cognition, or biofac. Our TBI survivors who receive hormone replacement therapy experience traumatic relief from their symptoms and are better able to reclaim the lives they lived before their injury. The trouble is that Biofac returns if the treatment, which is quite expensive and not always covered indefinitely by health insurance, stops. With this in mind, we're on the search to better understand the post-TBI syndrome and learn exactly how and why growth hormone replacement works so well in order to develop new treatments. We've recently published two studies in the Journal of Neurotrauma that shed some new light on this. We already knew that even mild TBI triggers both short and long-term changes in the brain. Growth hormone administration has been extensively linked with both protection and repair of the brain following damage or disease but we didn't yet know much about the specific mechanisms and pathways involved. We examined people with a history of mild TBI and inadequate growth hormone secretion using functional MRI and growth hormone treatment for a year. The people in the study had less fatigue, anxiety, depression, and sleep disturbances. We saw that these improvements were associated with stronger functional connections and sensory motor brain networks that have been previously associated with growth hormone deficiency. In a different study, we noticed that TBI patients had altered amino acid and hormonal profiles suggesting chronic GI inflammation. So we investigated the role of the gut-brain axis in the long-lasting effects of TBI. We found that the people with TBI-related fatigue and altered cognition also have altered fecal bacterial communities. We're excited about this discovery because it opens the door to developing ways to supplement or replace the dysbiotic intestinal bacteria, which may help to ease their symptoms. These new studies further explain Biofac and act as a springboard for new treatment options. We hope that they will focus the collective wisdom of the research community to better understand and treat this syndrome, providing hope for many.